Welcome back. You've seen our next guest on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam and in Living Color. Say hi to the very funny Reggie McFadden. Reggie, come on out. Make him laugh. What's going on, New York? <laughs> so, there's some hot women here tonight. Looking for a new girlfriend, too. You know, somebody with some good credit. <laughs> Cosign for me. I need some money, man. Well, I got to tell you guys. First of all, I have some cousins right now who are overseas fighting for us in the war who owe me some money. We need to bring these people home. <laughs> this whole war is crazy. This is how, you know, and, and now we're sending, like, the reserves. And I'm like, why, why are we even sending the reserves? You know, why are we sending anybody when we got all these healthy criminals just chilling in jail? <laughs> Send them, you know, just go right to Rikers Island. Just say, get there early, okay? Yeah. Go right there. Get, get there early in the morning, get on the loudspeaker. Like, everybody, wake the hell up. <laughs> oh, yo, you ain't going to the yard today. <laughs> well, we, we got JetBlue waiting to take y'all to... <laughs> that's right, use the criminals. You know, that's what the British used to do, use the criminals, you know? Because we got good criminals. You know, like the D.C. sniper, remember him? <laughs> you know, because we're over in, in Iraq training troops to be snipers, you know, when we have a sniper. <laughs> you know, who had on-the-job training, really. <laughs> Just send him. You know, put him up on the hill, you know, say, look, if anybody messes with the troops, you know what to do. <laughs> That's right. Just pretend everyone's standing at the Home Depot. <laughs> Whatever works for you. <laughs> Because Bush, Bush got us over there rebuilding. You know, we bombed the hell out of the place. Now we're rebuilding it, you know? That's why we getting shot. We over there painting, you know? <laughs> you know if you want to rebuild, to get another criminal, send Martha Stewart over there. <laughs> Just go right to Virginia. Say, hey, Martha, wake up, Martha. <laughs> That's right. Send, send Martha over there with the extreme makeover crew. <laughs> I don't understand this whole war, man. We had Saddam for a little while, you know, and now he's back in Iraq. You know that? He's back over there. We even make no money off of him. You know, at least put him on a reality show or something. <laughs> you know, let, let him walk around Never Never Land for a couple of days. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> you know? You know, put, put, put him on The Apprentice. <laughs> Saddam, Saddam, we're really upset with you. <laughs> We gave you the donut shop. We thought you could do some business, but not only are you fired, but we're sending you back to Abu uh, Kuri. I can't even pronounce the prison. So what else is happening? News. Kobe got off. You guys happy about that? Kobe, did he do it? What happened? That's what I'm wondering. How did he get that girl up to his room? You know, he probably probably used one of his endorsements. He was like, hey, you know, I got some Sprite upstairs. <laughs> As soon, as soon as she reached over for that Sprite. <laughs> no, Kobe! I'm glad it was Kobe, man, because if it was Shaq, it would have been murder in that damn room. <laughs> or you gonna give me some love tonight, girl. <laughs> you know, Shaq hit her, sit down. <laughs> I've been all over the news, Shaq attack. <laughs> see Shaq in person? That's a big dude right there, Shaq. He's big, man. Still having problems with the free throws. You see him with the free throws? In my, you know what the problem is? The ball too small for him. You see him at the line, you know, he at the line, he's trying to concentrate, he's trying to hold the ball. <laughs> that's, that's what we need. You know what? That's what New York needs, the Knicks. We need like a, like a strong center, like a big dude. You know, like, like uh, Patrick Ewing was like the last good center we had, man. <laughs> last good center we had. You know, we used the hell out of Patrick, too. He came and walked. You see him walk? Just... <laughs> he walking around like Sanford and son. <laughs> we need Shaq. That's what we need. Big old, you know, Shaq, he's like the Frankenstein that ain't made. just coming to call. Give me the ball. <laughs> I tell you, man, it's crazy. I've been uh, having a good, good, day, good day. I was uh, watching the, the Lord of the Rings. So that movie, was uh, what, 24 hours to watch that movie? <laughs> 24, <laughs> it was way too long, you know what? You, you, gotta, you gotta cut that movie down, make it like, you know, one hour. <laughs> no, I make it one hour, you tell Frodo to keep the ring in his pocket. <laughs> you 
you know, I didn't get that whole ring. He walking around, everybody looking for the ring. He walking around with it on the chain. <laughs> you can't even walk through Brooklyn with a ring on a chain. <laughs> Let alone walk around the Middle Earth. Gandalf! That's my favorite guy, Gandalf. I love some Gandalf, man. Gandalf for president, that's what I say. <laughs> you know, if I was ever in Middle Earth, I would never leave Gandalf's side. I mean, you know, so no, I'll, you, you walk with the tree guy, I'm hanging out with Gandalf. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so I'm trying to look good for you guys. I had, uh, went shopping today and uh, trying to look good. When, uh, didn't go to the Gap. Every time I go to the Gap, I always get the friendly salesman. You got a friendly guy? Too friendly. Hi! <laughs> How are you? No, he followed you into the dress room. Come on, let's try this stuff on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. It's, like, I don't, it's crazy. They follow me around too, man. Black man with a bag walking through the store. <laughs> Make me nervous. I'm walking through the store. I'm like, you know how you get to the metal detectors? I'm walking to the metal detectors. I'm saying in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I hope it didn't take anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got to get out of here. You guys are the wonderful crowd. Enjoy the, enjoy the evening. Okay. Randy McFadden, everybody. Be sure to check him out. Independent Film Road King. We'll be right back with the Zootons right after this.